Hi guys, I'm here with Peter and Peter has invited me today to continue to look at this Morgan restoration that we started a few weeks back. I think it was 10th of October I went and did it. So show us Peter what is going on with this Morgan oh. since that day. It got taken apart. So far, yeah, uh, the gentleman named Pat has taken it all apart uh, and he's brought it to me in pieces. So. Um, we are going to take it from bare metal back up to original. So we've got it into epoxy primer now. Uh, we missed that stage, but let's have a look. Let's see where, what's going on. So, uh, we're to this stage here. This is what's the Morgan that you saw earlier. Um, it's down to this is just the bare tub um, with the original wood still in it. Uh, we epoxy primed it to keep the corrosion at bay, and uh, now we're going to do some uh, tin work. Uh, it's made of aluminum, so hammer and dollying all the stuff out. I want to keep the Bondo and polyester putties to a minimum on this car, mm -hmm. uh, but they are a necessary evil. Um, and then we'll uh, get it into paint. Hopefully, I want to have this painted by next week. This top oh, great. will be in paint. So that's my goal, because uh, I'm doing it part-time. It's not a full-time project. It's a, a part-time thing that I'm doing up here. So, uh, so uh, you guys remember last time, we, we had a look at this particular car. It was still fairly intact. Um, he had already started, uh, Pat had already started taking it apart because uh, I never made it on time ever for the first stage of these things because people call me up and say, hey, it's happening today and I'm going, oh, too bad I'm in Vancouver. But anyways, so um, this car had everything pretty much on it. Remember the interior and we went and looked at, looked through here. Um, you remember there was the kind of a, a, a piece of big piece of wood here that was covering stuff up yeah. oh. he had a battery back here stuff yes. like that yeah. um, there was all this oh yeah this is all ash frame right yes it's all ash framing so you remember that from from this but what's happened to this uh, can you describe uh, for people who don't know Isn't much about this primer an epoxy uh, primer yeah mm -hmm. and what's what's happened before you put the primer on uh, we, we took all the old paint <laughs> off and uh, right down to <coughs> bare aluminum uh, yeah and then in order to have things adhere and stick and keep corroding the baby, put a epoxy primer on there right away because aluminum oxidizes as soon as oxygen oh, gets right, it, yeah. it'll oxidize. So right. We can get it free to epoxy primer as soon as we can so then we can start doing our body work and uh, start painting the inners and whatnot. And it's easier to paint a car when it's a part like this, for me anyways. Of course, right. Uh, we've been getting all the nooks and crannies and keep the corrosion and everything uh, to them. The minimum. Now you're not you're not going to bother with a rotisserie for this, are you? No, because this car, uh, the way it sits right now, I can I can lift this whole thing up myself. Guess there's nothing to it. Yeah. Right. That's why these cars are so fast because they literally this must weigh maybe. Oh my maybe god. 150 pounds. I'm going to try this too. Sure. One one <laughs> arm, guys. We're lift. Oh, we're lifting the whole thing. Yeah. That's it, guys. That's crazy. So that's why they go so fast because there's nothing to them. <laughs> yeah, and if you hit something, there's nothing to them. That's right. <laughs> so. Good luck to you. So it's like a soapbox racer with a with an engine in it. Yeah, and uh, apparently this car. I'm not an organ expert by any means. Uh, apparently this car has a pretty high performance motor in it. So yes, yeah, we, we saw that engine right in there. This oh yeah, this is going to be a really nice little car. That's for sure. When this is all yeah, and like done. I say, um, hopefully mm -hmm. hoping to paint it the one main body color probably this weekend. If not by next weekend, it'll be in paint. Let's talk about this firewall here. Yes, the firewall. I know there's not a lot of pieces to this car right now, guys, but... Uh, no, all that I have up here. This is so, how you do this it. This is the original firewall. Okay. Um, you can see, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but uh, over the years it's been corroding and whatnot. Uh, we have some cracks here where it's been vibrating on whatever bolts. So there's actual cracks in the metal. So yeah. what are you gonna, you're gonna have to reinforce that, right? Weld well, in? Yeah, we're gonna weld it up. Like someone's already welded it over here once yeah. before. Uh, looks to me like this car might have been in an accident at one point in time just due to the certain creases that are in here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another crack here. And then there's some really and nasty You were saying there's also, there's some pitting in here. Yeah. And you're saying like this is still, it's, it's, not, it's not ideal, not, but it's not, it's not ideal, but not super thin, I guess. Eh? No, we can still salvage that, and then down, the big corrosion is down at the bottom. Yes, down here, someone's already fixed patching here. So this has already been, this has already been repaired once, once, and not this, by me, and, <laughs> and it's already corroding again. You can see right through that. Yeah, now what happens is when someone has put the patch on right over top of rust, 
Well, the run that just gets you to the new patch. Oh, I see. Right? Okay. So, so this it's like cancer in a spread, there. right? Right. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to cut this out and put a whole new piece in, getting rid of all the right. cancer, right? right. So uh, I'm not sure if the customer said that's good enough for him for now, so that's his choice, not mine. All right. I, I wouldn't do that, but well, not, you not know, my car, not my call. Yeah, exactly. Not my money that I'm spending. So. Exactly. Yeah. So you got a cut, basically a cut line here. You're gonna yeah. put a new piece in there. That yeah. looks good, and that'll get rid of the corrosion in that spot. Mm -hmm. And you're not gonna do it on this side, as you said. Like you said he you're gonna leave to that side. side in. Apparently not. So, well, so he's trying to keep his cost down. He's not. Yeah. It's not a full, huge restoration, big dollar restoration. Yeah. We're gonna get this car. Like the, the paint job I'm putting on this is uh, paintwork, bodywork combined. It's gonna be around seven thousand dollars. So reasonable. that's pretty reasonable. reasonable yeah, and, but it's still cheap and. The restoration well, these aren't like hundred fifty thousand dollar cars, right? No, so there's not, not a whole. It, there wouldn't be much point spending a hundred yeah. grand on a restoration exactly. or something, right? Yeah, people you could. fall in love with an idea and they end yeah. up spending too much money. This yeah. guy's realistic and says, "Okay, that's car is only worth twenty grand restored, but yeah, he's willing to put some a little bit of money into it to keep it on the road, really." That's a great idea. To go to waste. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for uh, thanks for showing me oh. this this one again, and yeah, we'll no we'll worries. come back and have a look as it goes back on. It's, uh, have some color on. <laughs> thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed this installment. It's quick, but you know that's the whole idea. We just keep an eye on how this thing's going, uh, the, how the process happens. I'm learning a lot, and I hope you're enjoying this, all you Morgan lovers out there, and maybe you future Morgan lovers out there. Uh, you can see the good work that's going on and how these cars are being kept on the road by this loving care and attention. It's fantastic to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.